Today, I'm going to teach you how to get this working on Minecraft. Just watch. Yeah, the physics mod. So if you want to learn how to get the physics mod in Minecraft 1.19.3, let's get started. So the first step is to actually get mod in Minecraft. Now, since we're downloading the physic mod, which it has in the name, it's a mod, we're going to need mod in Minecraft. Now, mod in Minecraft could be fabric or it could be forge. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using forge. However, I do have fabric tutorials and forge tutorial in the channel. I'm still going to teach you how to install forge real quick in case you don't want to look through the tutorials. But yeah, the first step is to get modern Minecraft 1.19.3. So that's what we're going to do right here. Click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install forge for Minecraft, any version of Minecraft. In this case, we're going to do it for 1.19.3. If you don't want to read through the guide and look at the photos, you can just follow along the video. Just scroll down in the website until you find the download forge here button. Go ahead and click on that and that is going to redirect you to the forge website now in here don't worry i know it says 1.19 but that's not the one we're going to download we're actually going to download 1.19.3 which is right here on the top left so just look in the top left until you see 1.19.3 click on it and then click on installer i also have a video on how to do this and how to fix any issues you might have along the way so you could also watch that after you're done watching this anyways once you click on the installer it's going to bring you to this website where you're not going to click anything because after five seconds you're going to get a skip button right on the top right. Go ahead and click on that. That is going to start the download automatically. In my case, it's asking me where I want to save this file, but for you, it's just going to download automatically. So go ahead and download the file. And now we could go ahead and drop this jar file, the forge file into the desktop. Now we have the installer for forge. Again, you could do this with fabric. I'm going to do it with forge because I think forge is a little bit faster, but you could do it with fabric as well. If you already have forge or fabric, you could have skipped this part. So once we have the forge installer, I'm still not going to install it. I want to download the mod as well. So let's go ahead and download the actual physics mod. So go ahead and click on the third link in the description which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install the physics mod. Now, I do not own the physics mod. I'm not the creator. I always want to give credit to the proper creator. So it's not me, okay? And in here, once you're in the guide, again, if you don't want to read through the guide and you don't want to look at the photos, it's okay. Follow along the video. Just click on the physic mod button right here. Scroll down. Step number one has it. Click on that button. And that is going to redirect you to the physics mod website. You know, in here, you could look through their community, see who created it and all of that. Now, we're downloading the free version, right? There's a pro version if you want to support them and buy the pro version, be my guest. But in here, we're going to download the free one. As you can see, we have Minecraft 1.19.3. And again, since we downloaded Forge, we're going to download the Forge version, which is right here. Do not click on Fabric. Click on Forge. If you're using Fabric, click on Fabric. But in this case, it's Forge. Let's go ahead and click on that. And that is going to start the download automatically. In my case, again, it asks me where I want to save it. For you, it's just going to download. So I'm going to click Save on that. And now we have the Physics mod. Let's go ahead and drop that file into the desktop as well. Let's put it right here next to our Forge installer. Now, in theory, we are ready to start. And, and we kind of are. So let's start. But not before I tell you about today's sponsor, which is Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, look no further because Apex Hosting got you okay they have 24 7 support they have 24 7 online servers for minecraft for java or whatever you want to do you want to add mods you want to add the physics mod go ahead and do it but the greatest thing that i think that apex hosting provides is when i have my own server running with them is that i could access a server console through the phone which i think is freaking cool okay you're like a walmart you want to look at the server you could do it through your phone so that's amazing and also let's not forget that if you create your server right now you get 25 percent off your first server with apex hosting anyways once that's said let's keep going with the tutorial so now we have forge and we have the physics mod. But first, we have to install Forge 1.19.3. In order to install Forge, you have to make sure that you have run Minecraft 1.19.3 at least once on your computer and that Minecraft and your Minecraft launcher are completely closed. So yeah, make sure that you have the Minecraft launcher closed and the game closed, and then go ahead and double click on Forge 1.19.3. That is going to prompt you with an installation menu right here. It's not really hard in here. We're just going to leave it as it is on install client, and then we're going to click OK. That is going to start the installation for Forge 1.19.3, which is the one that we want for this tutorial. If you want to do this for any older version, be my guest. But in here, we're doing 1.19.3. It shouldn't really be a long installation. As you can see, it's about to finish. Just give it a little bit. It depends on your computer, your internet, I guess. So just give it a little bit. It's almost done. I know that and I don't want to bore you. So here we go. It says successfully install client. That's great. Let's click on OK. And now you could delete this little document that appears on the desktop as well as the Forge installer. Now we just have the physics mod left over. Now, in order to add this mod, we're going to launch the Minecraft launcher. Go ahead and click on your Minecraft launcher. Let's wait for this to open. Now, sometimes it takes a little bit long. I don't know why the Minecraft launcher has been taking longer to load 
lately. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything going on inside Minecraft, the building, you know, I, I don't know if there's a building called Minecraft, but you, you know what I mean. So if you install Forge properly, once the Minecraft launcher loads, you're going to see that Forge is automatically selected here in the bottom left, just like mine is, right? Mine is automatically selected. If by any reason that was not your case, if by any reason, instead of having Forge in here, you have latest release or something else, just click on installations right on the top and make sure that you have modded selected, because if you don't have modded selected, the mods won't show, Forge won't show, and everything else won't show. So make sure you have modded selected, and if that doesn't do it for you, just click on new installation, name this whatever you want. Obviously, we're going to name it Forge in this video. And then here on the version, click on that and look for Forge 1.19.3. As you can see, we have the latest release right here, Forge 1.19.3, and this is actually 44.1.2, which is the newest one. As of the making of this video, for you, it might be a totally different number. Once you have that created, you could actually click on create here on the bottom right. That is going to create an instance for Forge. As you can see down here, we created an instance in case you didn't get it automatically. But for most of you, you will have it automatically. Anyways, let's say that you came to Minecraft, to the launcher, and everything was all right. You had the Forge in here, all selected automatically. What do you do next? Well, you want to click on installations and you want to find the Forge instance. Once you find the Forge instance, Go ahead and click on this folder right here that is going to open a bigger folder with a lot of files don't worry you're just looking for a file called mods as you can see mine is right here but let's say that your mods folder wasn't there what do you do don't freak out let's say that the mods folder wasn't here right i'm gonna delete mine well guess what you could just right click and create a new folder and name it mods m o d s now we have the mods folder in there and you could open this folder in here let's say that it's empty or let's say you already had some mods all you have to do to add the physics mod into the Forge version or into Minecraft is drag and drop it in. Just drop that in there. Now we have the physics mod in the game, in this folder, in the mods folder. We could go ahead and close this folder, open the launcher back up and launch your Forge edition of Minecraft. Now it might prompt you with a sign like this because you're launching mod in Minecraft. Click that you understand the risks and click play. Now, if you successfully install Forge, you should see that when you open Minecraft, it says Forge down here in the bottom left. Also, you can see that this is 1.19.3. So we successfully installed Forge, but let's check if we have the physics mod. Something that the physics mod adds that is really significant and really cool is if you click on the options menu, you should see the physics settings. And that is an indicator that we successfully installed the physics mod. Now you could control this in here. I don't really know how to mess around in here, but you could do a lot of things. For sure, you could do a lot of things in here. Then you could just go back and play a game and I'm actually gonna try it out to see if it works. Now we're in Minecraft and let's see if we have the physics mod. I guess if I break a block, does that make it work? Does it show if I break? <gasps> oh my God, that is that is the physics mod right there, guys. So yeah, as you can see, we have the physics mod in Minecraft. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you. And as always, bye bye.